Proven Winning Overlays, video 17X. Santa Anita once again for the second time on this particular day. I highlighted the race condition. It's a maiden claiming 30,000. That's a preferred race. It's what I focus on. Let me tell you all about that. And this was this was the video from earlier in the same card on Santa Anita. It was two two nice ones on that one particular day here. Okay, uh here on your uh horse racing digest page you can either click on the handicapping video link up there or you can click on the uh, laptop computer uh, it takes you to the page with over 400 videos and um, right here on the right hand side is a listing of the value odds and preferred races now the story is this of all the horses that win that nice odds that have the value odds icon 90 percent of them come out of these races okay uh, I've got a group here, and two of, two of these out of this group I like uh, like the best of the group. We got uh, all maiden claiming races, which this particular video is one of those, and it's uh, uh, I give it a, f a four star rating as one of my favorites of this little sub this little group here. Then you got your maiden special weight races, then you got your claiming races with a condition, you know, like claiming whatever nine winners two lifetime or some kind of condition to the claimer that's another one that I like the best out of this group uh, uh, bottom low level claimers you know like five to ten thousand claimers uh, maybe a little bit more a little bit higher at you know Santa Anita Keeneland uh, New York but basically you know five to ten range all races run over the turf and all races run on a wet track okay these are my preferred races and uh, also very often in these preferred races the betting public will focus in on one horse and because of the preferred races are what you would call hard to handicap and, and these reports do an excellent job of filtering the true contenders to the top um, you can really see the value in the overlays uh, and you know they'll usually bet a horse uh, make him a favorite and uh, frequently that horse finishes you know doesn't win and finishes sometimes a lot of the time out of the money okay so I mean anytime you know you get a situation where it's where you know there's a better chance of the favorite running out okay that type of condition and that's pretty much what preferred races are um, I've narrowed that down over you know well over a decade of research but um, we got a top pick in here, number two, Bell Blitz. Um, top pick by power rating, uh, the horse to beat, as the report here would indicate. Um, believe it or not, uh, they were letting this one go, what was it, 25 30 to 1 near post time. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I understand why the betting public didn't want to touch this horse. But see, the betting public is not really looking at a complete story of a race. They're looking in, at this horse saying, okay, he finished 7 out of 11 last time out. Fifth before that, you know, it looks like he's not really um, making any progress. However, the figures say that Bell Blitz is the horse to beat versus this particular field. I'm talking about uh, a very important situation here that I love, and you don't see this often enough, but it's so powerful. When you have a, a horse with the pace, with the yellow and blue pace icon, uh, which stands for the horse has the best early and mid pace rating, okay? When a horse has that and the best total pace rating, it's dynamite. Because the total pace rating takes into account the middle and late stages of a race. The pace rating, uh, the pace icon, takes into account early and middle. So basically what you have is a horse that's totally dominant in pace from start to finish. Okay? So um, this is like one of the most powerful situations uh, when you see that. Uh, 
all these purple boxes each one of these stands for one of the 36 proven winning overlay angles on the uh, horse racing digest page you can click on the ebook there uh, describes them all in detail but the main one here is the value odds angle uh, there are five certain other icons that when listed on a value odds horse have proven to be very potent okay so when you get value odds and then you got pace final time par late pace total pace and our horse here in this race has got total pace and pace so he's got two of these uh, that are proven to be very potent okay uh, and uh, you know that's just it's something else I mean here I've highlighted the ratings for you it's just a total domination of pace from start to finish okay and um, you know this horse did not get the top rating based on just his pace ratings because this you know our power ratings obviously are not one-dimensional they take into account um, you know dozens of factors so um, you know the betting public the majority of them you know didn't have this report in front of them which ex which gives a, a complete story of the race therefore they went ahead and bet popular cause down to like eight to five seven to five and the horse finished out of the money but uh, you know these are the situations that we look for we love this kind of stuff okay um, so basically all I needed to know is Bell Blitz was you know 25 30 to 1 near post time um, right there in, is enough for me to place a bet in a preferred race okay on a value odds horse but then what gives me confidence is the pace and the total pace icons okay um, the fact that he has all these purple boxes when as you can see here hardly no one else in the race has any purple boxes meaning you know he's got a lot of positive betting angles going for him okay and if that isn't enough also on the new report from the winning overlay situations A through Z as you can see here Bell Blitz has angle S and X now of the winning overlay situations A through Z I love S the best any horse with angle S and I love also any horse that has a combination of S and X is like double, double fantastic in my book. Okay, so now I'm just loaded with confidence, and uh, of course this report here um, is based on the new book for members winning overlay situations A through Z. Okay, and uh, a member. The member page top row you have that report right there okay so you know that right there gives me you know even more confidence so you know it's one thing to bet a 25 to 30 to one shot but it's another thing to have a lot of confidence in that bet okay that's where our reports I believe have a very big advantage for uh, any horse player who's using them okay uh, well, uh, let's uh, go ahead and put the strategies, apply our betting strategies, and they're always the same. First and foremost, we want to make sure and get the win bet down. Uh, even if we're going to play exotic wagers, we must get the win bet down first. Um, don't want to have a nice long shot and uh, have a trifecta ticket that doesn't cash and you don't have any money on the win. I mean, that's just, you know, we don't want to do that. We've all been there, done that. So first bet is always the win bet, and uh, for the videos here, I go ten bucks to win. And you know your bet could be more, could be less, depending on your bankroll. And uh, we've got members that have unlimited bankrolls, and they bet to win only. And there's n you know there's nothing wrong with betting to win only. There's some people that just rather prefer to do that. You know they bet these types of horses in the preferred races, it's just the win bets. You know it doesn't matter whether you have a big bankroll or a small bankroll. Win win bets on these situations are absolutely you know conservative and and you know very very positive okay uh, now I also what I do that next uh, in line would be the exacta I always wheel my exacta with all uh, for two dollars so that would be a, a two all 
exacta in here and also um, if you're in a daily double race I also wheel the daily doubles now this is the this is the last half of the late double here and of course I would look ahead to race eight from race seven or whatever and I'd say oh okay uh, preferred race top pick a value odds horse so I better get the daily double wager in on that so you'd have an all two double coming in okay so it's so uh, you know ten bucks to win wheel the exacta wheel the double now trifecta we play it like this gonna key the two on top all by himself then in the second position we're gonna put the five eight four seven that's the rest of the horses in group A and the top horse in group B and then all for third okay that's how we play that now we we didn't hit the trifecta here I'll tell you but we did hit uh, pick three and pick four and uh, I'm gonna tell you how that strategy is next our, our strategies for the pick three are very simple uh, I will look for a situation like this you know or I'll see a preferred race and uh, you know I'll see something special like this top pick total pace early pace all the icons so many things to like at 15 to 1 I know that horses 15 to 1 and 20 to 1 morning line usually will go off at good odds okay and that's you know Bell Blitz was 15 to 1 morning line now on our report we give him a rating of two and a half to one which is five to two odds okay so uh, but when you're looking ahead and playing pick threes if you've got one like this that's 15 or 20 to 1 morning line, you can pretty much guarantee that horse is not going to get bet down because there's something psychological with the odds of 15 and 20 to 1 compared to, let's say, a value odds horse who might be 8 or 10 to 1 morning line. Sometimes those horses do get bet down, okay? But I, I find that there's a psychological break at, at the 15 to 1 level. But in any case, uh, the actual strategy for the pick three is very, very simple. You know, that's the way we do it here because it works. And uh, what we do is we're going to single the two because, you know, he's a special. He's got a lot of special things going. And we're going to single the two. And in the other two races of the pick three, which would have been the sixth and seventh coming into this race, this is the late pick three. Uh, in the other two races, we're simply going to play the group A horses, which is the top four picks. Okay. That simple, and um, that's a, if for a dollar. I play a dollar pick three, and that's a sixteen dollar bet. So we're gonna single the two. And whereas a lot of horse players like to, you know, take seven to five shots and single those in pick threes and pick fours, we don't do that. We we go for you know we go for the throat latch. We single long shots that we feel have a very good chance to win. Because who wants to cat? First of all, who really wants to cash a pick three ticket that pays sixty or seventy dollars or less? I mean, we're not. Are we in this game just to cash tickets? Just so like Pavlov's dog, just to get a pat on the back? You know, I. I mean, me personally, I'm. You know, I'm long past that in my in my betting career. I, I'm. I'm in this to make money. I don't need to cash tickets. As a matter of fact. I'd rather cash less tickets and make more profit, okay? And the reason why I can do that is because I know how to read these reports and interpret these reports. And that's why I make these videos so that you can get a better understanding on how to do the same thing. And then you won't worry about, you know, uh, all the stuff that everybody, all the other horse players worry about. And you know that, you know, they're not making a long-term profit most of the most of the players it's the rest of us that's scooping up all the pool money anyway um so you pick three like i said uh two single bell blitz the single with the group a horses and the other two races uh, one dollar cost you 16 bucks and then of course for the pick four it's one extra race and you just play the group a horses for you know the other race as well now i play that for a dollar they they offer they offer the 50 cent pick four at Santa Anita. However, I personally play it for a dollar. Okay. Um, 
that's just me. So I, when I give you the payoffs, it'll be based on a, always on a dollar payoff. Okay? So there you have the wagers. And remember, Bell Blitz is supposed to have an early, middle, and late pace advantage. So can you almost get a mental picture of this race? Okay. And there's what Bell Blitz did. He, uh, nice ride by Pedrosa, by the way, because you can see he kept his horses, he just kept his head the whole way around. He pretty much toyed with the field here. He knew, I mean, Pedrosa must have known he had the speed in the race and that the horse had enough finish to uh, last a mile and a sixteenth. Okay, uh, 28 and a half to 1 final odds. Nice. 59.20 on the win mutual. Um, and of course, we have the exact as well. We did not hit the pick, I mean, excuse me. We did not hit the trifecta or the super, but we did hit pick 3 and pick 4, which paid well. Let me show you that. Okay, here we go. Second video from Santa Anita on the same day. Um, your ten dollar win. Here's all your payoffs. Your ten dollar win bet, two hundred ninety six bucks, returned to you. Uh, the exacta, like I said, I play it for two dollars. Always uh three hundred and thirteen eighty for two dollars. A daily double, two hundred and one twenty. And then uh, with our strategy of singling our special value odds horse with the Group A horses, the top four picks in the other races. Um. For the pick three, return seven hundred eighty-two thirty, and for the pick four, the dollar payoff was four thousand ninety and twenty cents. The fifty cent payoff was obviously two thousand forty-five. But like I said, I personally don't play the fifty cent. I I, I play the dollar, um, you know. But some of you may you know like to play fifty cent. It's you know obviously half the investment, but half the return. And, you know, in my opinion, if somebody's got money to play exotic wagers, I mean, you really got to have, you're either going to do it or you don't, you know. If, you, if you've got a light bankroll, you're probably best sticking with win bets and maybe the exacta. Because, you know, you, you don't want to cheat yourself. And if you want to work your way up to exotic wagers, that's fine too. But uh, anyway... 5,683.50 total knockdown here on the same day that we had a $4,800 uh, uh, hit earlier in the card on Santa Anita. Um, so, you know, we're looking at a 10 grand payoff from Santa Anita on this one particular day. And see, this is how you're going to make your money. This is how you're going to make a long term profit. Okay, you're going to make it in chunks. Okay, you see? All these videos here, there's 416 videos. You see the the chunks here. That's how you're going to make a long-term profit. You're going to hit these chunks, big chunks, medium-sized chunks. And at the end of the year, all these chunks added up equals a long-term profit. That's how it's done, okay? I know, I know a lot of horse players like to think that they can bet 10 races at one track and... and they're going to make $20 a race or something like that. The, it, let me just say, it's mathematically, the odds are so against you because there's so many factors involved, okay, including what are the odds in the horse that you're going to be betting and is there value? I mean, how do you even know? Uh, you have to know the odds of the horse you're betting and the, and the other things. So um, you, you can't say I'm going to bet 10 races and make 20 bucks a race. It just... It doesn't work, you know. I know a lot of players that have done that for decades and ended up, you know, being a horse player for 30, 40, and 50 years and never made it. They never made long-term profit because, they, you know, they didn't know, they, maybe they didn't have somebody or, you know, maybe they didn't watch these videos and they didn't have somebody to show them how it's done. And, and you know, it took me, I mean, you're looking at, let's see, this is the year 2011. Uh, I started this project in 1995, and I have literally worked seven days a week, 365 days since 1995. And I'm, and you're looking at 15, 17 hour days. Okay, this is this is my life's work, and that's how I I have been able to come up with all of this information. Okay, and um, so you know, 
like I said, you know, there's a lot of videos here. This is video 416 on this page. I had a member write me an email last night. It said he made money today based on a video that he viewed that I made last year, a year ago. Okay, you know, so some of the members they go through this page and they look, they look at all the videos. And this member told me I made money based on a video that you made a year ago that I watched. So I mean, you know, there's the gold mine of information on this page. And, and by all means, watch as many videos as you can in your free time and try to watch each video more than once. You will learn, you know, a, a lots of good good tidbits of information that you can make money with, okay? Just great nuggets of information that um, you know, and my goal for everybody is long-term profit for you as a horse player. That's my life's work. I'm here working for you. All right. All right. We're at the 20, uh, about 21 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go on that. Uh, good day at Santa Anita. That's for sure. Big weekend coming up. Uh, as always, good luck with your wagers and thanks a lot for viewing.